2010 is winding down, but instead of hope, there is a sense of frustration, disappointment, anger and cynicism. Scams, corruption, inequality, unmet aspirations and expectations seem to have weighed down the nation like never before. Earlier I spoke with Sri Sri Ravi Shankar, the founder of the Art of Living Foundation, on how a nation recovers from this kind of moral bankruptcy and what the responsibility of business should be. Here's what he had to say. I think it's a very fortunate year. This year had many holes in its part. There were many leaks. And these leaks brought the truth to the surface, you know. All that was underneath, hidden somewhere, came out. And we should be very thankful for this year. At least all these corruptions, all these scams has come out in the open. It could have just been hidden and buried and the year would have passed. But I really thank this year 2010 that it exposed all those corrupt people. And so now it's the time for action. I think 2011 should be an action towards honesty, towards prosperity and action against all these corrupt people. That has to happen now. What is the role and responsibility of business in India today to your mind? And what are the kind of conflicts, the moral dharma, the moral conflicts, the ethical dilemmas that business leaders today have to deal with and contend with in India? You know, business leaders simply have to put their mind into it. Our business leaders are more worried about their progeny, their children and how many generations they are going to save their wealth for. They are uh, least bothered about overall development of society. So our business leaders will have to adopt villages. If each business house adopts 200, 300 villages, which they can easily afford, uh, you know, they'll earn, number one, goodwill, and they'll increase the buying power of people that is very good for the country, and they will contribute to the social welfare of society as such and reduce the crime also. How do you believe the state and civil society can join hands to actually be able to reintegrate maxos that are currently on the fringes of society? See, this is a matter of trust. The maxels don't trust the government. The government doesn't trust the maxels. In fact, the maxels those who are engaged in the Naxalite movement are not bad people, no? They are so tired of this uh, deception in society. They are so tired about uh, all that's happening in the name of uh, politics and corruption. So they are committed for a cause. And if these people are channeled in a non-violent way to bring service to the society or uplift the society, they could be an asset instead of a disaster for the country. You meet uh, thousands and thousands of people every day. What are they coming to you? What are the sort of problems that they are coming to you with? What are the sort of conflicts that they seem to be besieged oh, with that they are coming to you with me, advice? Yeah. <laughs> don't ask me. All sorts of conflicts, all sorts of problems. See, today it's not just prosperity is the happiness factor that that matters you know it's more than GDP it is GDH today that's being talked about in Europe so we also should not lag behind talking about GDH gross domestic happiness and let me wish the coming year 2011 to have a better GDH gross domestic happiness for the whole country and the entire world. Well, that's Sri Sri Ravi Shankaran saying that we should concentrate on the cross domestic happiness and not the cross domestic.